I've experienced the damage that can occur when people are rude because they misunderstand. I'm sure you have as well. Today I'll share three things I've learned about that damage from my own experiences. To do that, I want to tell you a quick story about me at 19, a naive Mennonite missionary girl escaping from Paraguay to the U.S. in 1970. Hi, this is Marlena Fio from Becoming Who We Truly Are. If you're searching to better understand and to become the truest version of yourself, you've come to the right place. Please join me on this journey of discovery by clicking the like button below. It really matters. I grew up on uh, my parents' sheltered Mennonite leprosy station in Paraguay, South America. So when I came to the United States to go to college at age 19, I was pretty naive. And I found the rudeness that I confronted at the border really hard to understand. Even before my US bound flight reached the Miami airport, I was so insecure. I had, I had on homemade blue bell bottom pants and I had on a shirt that was completely mismatched. I knew I wouldn't fit in, but things got a lot worse after that. First though, let me tell you what I had in my suitcase. Yerba mate. So today you can buy yerba mate on Amazon, probably lots of other places as well, but Amazon displays these yerba mate teas right next to Numi, Yogi stress reducing teas, that sort of thing but not in 1970. I couldn't get it here in the States, so I brought a whole suitcase full of my favorite Paraguayan tea with me. When security personnel saw my tattered bag filled with bags of green leaves, they took my passport away from me. They grabbed the bag to analyze the contents. Actually, I didn't know at the time why they grabbed the bag. And they yelled out, People like that shouldn't be allowed to enter our country. I was one confused kid about what I'd done wrong and why I was being treated that way. Unfortunately, not much has changed for many people today trying to enter the United States. The first obvious lesson that this story illustrates is that it's really not okay to treat people rudely just because we don't understand their way of life or what's important to them. Oh, and I should tell you, the security personnel at the border, uh, you probably figured this out already, but they believed I was smuggling marijuana into the US. Now, Given my sheltered childhood in Paraguay, I hadn't even heard of marijuana. The second lesson this experience offers is actually a question. And it's a question for which I don't really have a good answer. Who should have the authority to determine who is and who is not fit to enter a country? insiders versus outsiders, in-group versus out-group. These have been categories that social scientists have been studying for a long time. In fact, I used to be an expert in that area when I was a researcher. What I do know is that these categorizations breed prejudice and xenophobia. We may not know the answer to my question about a country's gatekeepers, but I'd like to become more mindful of my own judgments about the so-called fitness of another person. My third lesson is one that I've raised in many of the episodes of this YouTube channel. It's so important to keep in mind and to remind myself again and again that what I perceive about somebody else reveals more about me, the perceiver, than it does the person that I may be judging. As someone once said, judgment is a mirror, not a window. To learn more about dealing more effectively with misunderstandings, we recommend these resources. First, a TEDx presentation by Lauren Weinstein, 
Don't believe everything you think. And to learn about valiant medical pioneers who dealt with a lifetime of misunderstandings, we recommend our 2021 epic true story called. The web addresses of each of these are in the show notes below. And remember, we are together on this journey. <laughs>